I'm going to take another try at reviewing the wood apple because um, so last year I went to Penang um, there's the the tropical fruit farm in Penang and um, I bought a wood apple there that seemed okay but I guess it must have cracked or something along the way and it got infested with bugs so I opened it up and inside was just a swarm of like little teeny termite looking things and mold it was gross. But I went back. Okay, a year later I go back to the tropical fruit farm and this is the wood apple. So I, I got another one and um, the guy said that this one should be okay. It looks alright. Um, I don't know how to tell if one's ripe. You know, I think it's very difficult because the outside it's it's really hard. You actually have to crack this open with like a hammer, um, and it's uh, it's used to make like bowls and ashtrays and um, little uh, snuff boxes and stuff like that. It's it's like wood, you know. That's why they call it a wood apple. It's really really hard. But at the top, it's got like a little opening there from where you pulled it off the tree, and this looks like uh, looks okay. It's, it's it's like a little wet, right there. Um, it's no no signs of mold or drying out or anything, so I'm hoping that that's that's a sign that it's okay. Um, honestly, I don't really know. There's not a whole lot of information about the wood apple. This um, is actually kind of confusing, because there's two fruits called wood apple. Um, one of them is this one, um, which the scientific name is Limonia acidissima. Okay, that's that's this one here. Uh, there's another one which I don't have. I don't have the fresh version of this, but uh, when I was in Laos, they sell it as a tea, and it's this is actually like one of the more common ways of finding it is you don't find it fresh, you find it dried. But this is the the dried version. As you see, it's also really firm on the outside. Now this is a different fruit. It's a completely different fruit. It's um, called Aegil Marmalose is the scientific name and the common name is bale fruit. But this is also called wood apple and this is also called bale fruit sometimes too. So these two are called the same exact thing but they're completely different. Um, they just both have a similar appearance on the outside, like this, this hard, um, hard rind. These are also sometimes called elephant apples, because they're in an area of the world, um, Tamil Nadu. They are used um, as elephant food, um, and uh, on the inside, they're supposed to be like a really like sticky kind of pulp that has like a soap-like quality, so it's actually used as a cleanser sometimes. And um, there is a sticky um, pulp around like the seeds as well, like a, like a little layer around the seeds that's like really sticky, and that's used as a glue, and it's used in, um, it's used in art sometimes to seal canvases. So, um, interesting, interesting guy here. Um, bale fruit is used very extensively in India, either used in medicine as, um, well, it's used as a laxative, so this might be an interesting video. Uh, it's also used in um, different religious practices. It's used as a, uh, a ritual in the Nuwari people in Nepal. And what they do is women will actually marry the fruit, like actually go through a ceremony where they marry it, and and they'll keep this fruit, and as long as the fruit never breaks or it ever cracks, they will never be widowed. So they can marry like a man, like an actual you know, human being, and if their husband dies, you're never widowed unless it breaks, and then, then you're kind of screwed. Now these you actually have to reconstitute or make into a tea, so I'm, uh, I'm doing that right now. I'm letting, it, letting one of these hydrate, and this one, I'm going to have to figure out how to open it. 
Um, one thing I noticed, though, is that uh, if you smell this, it's really bizarre. Because the only way I could describe the smell of this is, like, artificial butter or artificial, like, cheese. This would be, like, it smells like movie theater popcorn or, like, and, like, um, like Cheetos. So I don't know exactly if I'm going to be able to open this. Um, <laughs> it's, it's really hard. There's no way I'd be able to cut into this with a knife. And I'm in a nice resort right now, nice hotel room. I don't really want to just, like, smash it on something because it'll probably break whatever I smash it on. It's like a big ball of cement. Um, so I'm going to pull a little memory out of my childhood and I'm going to play the crack your own geode game because like there used to be like a nature shop I'd go to and they would sell um, geodes you know, and you, what you do is you take the geode you put in a sock and then you smack the sock on like the sidewalk or something so I'm gonna try that okay I don't have any clean socks but I got a towel here let's see if this works okay ready one two <laughs> okay, Wood Apple is winning. One, two. Oh, that did it. It, it you know, it, it looks like it's actually okay, I think. Um,. <laughs> it's just, it's just really nasty looking. I don't wanna. <laughs> it looks so gross. It, it looks gross and uh, it doesn't smell that. No, it smells kind of weird. You know, it doesn't smell bad, but weird. I don't really know what it is, but it has a familiar smell. Eggnog. It smells... It smells a little bit like egg dog, but like buttery eggnog. Oh, I don't like eggnog. <laughs> you know, uh, so maybe that's why it's, it's kind of repulsive to me. Yeah. <laughs> it just looks like a... It looks like a clod of dirt you know, with, like, some roots going in it. It's like if you dug up, like, a like a plant. Let's see. Oh, I don't like this. <laughs> it's not like it tastes like especially bad. But the fruit is very mealy. Still kind of like dirt. It's like really... It's mellow tasting and sour tasting at the same time. kind of doesn't, like the flavor is really complicated, it doesn't like really go well together. It's kind of got like a little bit of like a tamarind kind of taste to it. It's like tamarind, eggnog, butter, like movie theater butter. Kind of sour. Sour in like a kind of a weird way. It's like not 
It's not like an orange or anything. It's just kind of like sharp. It's like a like a sharp, like cheese, kind of like sour. I must say, I have never had a fruit that tastes like this. It's really peculiar. Um, I mean, I can compare some, like the little flavor notes, but it's weird. It, it's a weird one. I'd be curious what this tastes like, like as a juice or something. Um, I guess like that's that's a common common way it's taken. Like you make a juice out of it, and you add like you know water and sugar and other flavors. Maybe it would be okay, but on its own, it's. Um, I think I'd leave this for the elephants to eat uh, because I don't think it's it's super suitable for humans. Right, I'm gonna move on to the the bale fruit or the the other wood apple. I just want to show like how thick that um, rind is compared to this one. It's it's uh, like twice as thick. So here is a hydrated one. <laughs> I guess like this is it's actually kind of common to dehydrate these from what I've been reading online anyway. Um, so I'll, I'll take a little bite out of it, but I think I'm probably gonna get most of my flavor out of the tea. Um, I think it looks really repulsive. You know, it looks like something from like an alien planet, but flavor's okay. It's extremely floral tasting. Um, it tastes like if you just like went over to just like, like a, like a, like a little bushel of daisies and just <laughs> took a bite out of it. It's like very flowery. Uh, the seeds I find pretty objectionable because they're like hairy. Maybe you can see more on like a dry one. You see how those seeds are like really like hairy looking? I don't like that. So I'm gonna try the try the tea a little bit. It's you know when you look at it, here let me tip that in there. It actually looks just like um, regular black tea, like an like a English breakfast tea or something. <sighs> yeah. You know I kind of am like a little scared of of eating all this this weird stuff, and one of them is marketed as a laxative, so, um, yeah. Alright, let's, <laughs> we'll see what happens. You know, I like it. You know, it's, it's really, um, it's quite tasty. It's got, like, a, like a flower kind of taste, like a floral taste, but it's also, um, very earthy, like, kind of like, like a muted, like, cinnamon kind of taste, or like a muted, like, nutmeg kind of taste, but, um, just really, really kind of like a mellow, mellow drink. But, interesting, um, no similarity in taste with the wood apple. Like, ugh. God damn it, no. <laughs> um, yeah, the wood apple is pretty repulsive. Um, it's just kind of like this you know, cheesy, sweet, sour kind of flavor. Bale fruit is like a nice floral, um, woody, earthy kind of flavor. So, no, the only similarity I can this detect is this has like a, a slight like dirt taste not like in an unpleasant way just kind of like in you're eating like plant life like dirt kind of taste this has the resemblance of dirt and the texture of dirt so yeah I would say like maybe I'll mix them together or something but uh, I, I make these things for free you know if, if you were to pay me yeah then maybe but uh, I'm not gonna do that this thing is gross. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see what else I can find. All right, fine.
just torturing myself. It's gross. Thank you.